Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat, my name is Barry and today we're here to do the retro review for Monday Night Wars 10th of June 1996. My birthday's the 10th of June, I would have turned... What age would I have turned? Five, I would have turned five here. Uh, so this was before my time of, you know, watching wrestling. But uh, I would have been around about five and I think this was the year that I actually first ever saw wrestling. So, uh, I Anyway... We'll kick off the way we always do with Raw and then we move to Nitro. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that wee beauty of a notification bell so we can be notified when you are, when me, what am I trying to say here? So we can be notified when I upload content, when you can be notified when I upload content. You know what I'm trying to say guys, I'm not going to reshoot this. <laughs> anyway, let's kick off with Raw. So we get Yokozuna vs his own heart at the King of the Ring qualifier match. Owen gets a win, one star, short and sweet, nothing really special there. Mark Miro vers with Sable versus Skip, King of the Ring qualifier match. Miro obviously gets a win, two stars for this one, a little bit rough in places, nothing really special, but it did make Miro look a little bit good. Then we get Mark Mero, Miro, Mero, I think I'm used to seeing Miro for some reason, but Mero, I would just say, well, Mark, <laughs> Warrior, and Jerry Laura give a little thing and ah uh, no, wasn't that good? Undertaker versus Davy Boy Smith. Um Davy Boy Smith, the Bulldog, gets a win here. 2.5. Look, this isn't a masterpiece, but it is done well. Mankind holds uh, Undertaker's leg so you can't get back in the ring to stop the 10 count. So it keeps Undertaker from getting to lose when he's gonna go against Mankind. You don't want to give Undertaker the L on free TV and also it makes Davy Boy Smith look good and like he can go up against a big guy like the take like Taker heading into his rematch with Sean at King of the Ring. I enjoyed this one, wasn't it the best, but it was fun. Overall, like I say, 2.5 stars. I mostly enjoyed uh, Raw this the retro Raw this week. Um Taker Bill Dog being the highlight of the night, but it was enjoyable. So WCW, now remember WCW is two hours, so it might it might get a bit of a better rating because it's got a longer time to create better matches. But um, yeah, so we kick off with Booker T and Scott Steiner. Steiner gets a win, three stars in this. I really enjoyed this match and I always enjoyed these two guys in the ring together. Whether that be the later stuff for the World Championship or even here, or the Steiners against Harlem Heat. You put these guys in the ring and they somehow just work. And this one done it. Jim Powers versus DDP. DDP gets a win. We're no rating it. It was just there for the diamond cutter. Ming versus Sting. Sting gets a win. We're no rating it. Short and nothing really there. Jim Duggan. I didn't even watch this. It was Jim Duggan versus Dave Taylor. I can't stand Jim Duggan. I don't know why. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But I just really don't like watching him. WCW title. The Giant versus Scott Norton. Giant gets a win, as you would expect. Billy Kidman versus Lord Stephen Regal. Regal gets a win, one star. A cool squash jobber match. Kidman did get a like flipping stuff in, it looked cool. Um, definitely was a cool little match, even though it was a squash. Nasty Boys versus Public Enemy. It was a DQ. Too long for what it was, and it didn't really do anything. And then the WCW tag title, Sting and Luger versus Flair and Anderson. A DQ because of Giant. Three stars. Good until the end. And it was just four classic wrestlers going out there wrestling. And it was fun to watch. Then after this, we had Scott Hall. He's up there. And Bischoff wants to know who the big surprise is. He points to behind you. Kevin Nash is there. This is one of the moments that start to change wrestling history. And we start to pod on to the biggest point in wrestling and I can't wait to watch it with you guys. Um, overall, I'm going to say two stars. It was okay. It wasn't that enjoyable. I'd say Taker Bulldog was the match of the night for me. I, no, Sting Luger, Flair Anderson was the match of the night till the end. Taker Bulldog was probably the better story match for me. Going into like Taker Mankind and then Bulldog Shawn Michaels but... Nash being there saved the show, didn't it? It really, really did. And I, at this point, it's just getting exciting and I can't wait to see it get to that peak point, do you know what I mean? And I can't wait to watch it with you guys. Anyway, that's been the retro June 10th, 1996 review. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Share this with whoever you want. Get them to subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to hit that 200 mark. And I hope you guys are here to join me for the journey. I'm going to be here for the long haul. We'll hit three, four, five, right up to that 10k mark, hopefully one day. Um, I can't wait to get there as well. But first of all, let's hit 200. And thanks for your support, guys. See you later.